You see, um, you can I come in, please? Go ahead. Look, the way you are uh, trying to explain, of course, I mean, you have to uh, defend and advocate for INEC. One would think that INEC is being unfairly as accused that there is no basis for it, but there is. INEC has been incriminated and incompleted in all the cases of election manipulation in the country. All of it. <clears throat> and then there's a question that Mapo was trying to get you to answer. If there's an increase in population anywhere, that, that fact will be captured in your continuous registration uh, exercise. And I've taken part actively in this continuous registration. At no time have I witnessed, I come from a community that has, uh, that normally have, you know, <coughs> developed um, their new settlement. No, to the best of my knowledge, no time has, nobody had made requests on that basis before. That, okay, we are, we are an addition to the town or community. Come and give us our polling booth. I'm not aware of any of that. But how would I we mean, know? Actually, I mean, when we that, look at, when well, we let, look, let, just let, a moment, yeah, I, yeah. this question is for you. How would, mm. how would INEC know, in fairness to them, mm. when the continuous voter registration is done centrally at local government headquarters, for instance? No, no, how, how exactly. How is INEC supposed to know exactly, when the people are coming from? Exactly. That is why the, 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 the question can be you know, put the other way. There. How does that, INEC that then determine? what is going to do when it's not in a position to know or whatever it is, it is like walking to an answer. Then secondly, if you behave suspiciously, you raise this question, why is it now? If you want to, if you are thinking along that line, you only sent that request in March and gave people two weeks to complete that exercise. That itself is suspicious. Why, do, why, why, why now, within two weeks, and you expect people you want to get the correct figure. What is it that is, why couldn't it have been done earlier? So to your mind, what uh, do you think is going on? Well, only I like a look. Allegations have been made. Of course, uh, he's stating the position of I like clarifying the position. But what I'm saying is that, look, uh, I'm not in a, nobody is in a position to say, that, okay, well, this is certainly what has happened. What has been reported was the fact that this same request that is now being made now of some, specifically the southern part of the country, has been made, has been, you know, made to people in the north last year, months ago. So in other words, giving you a head start, you know, to, to exploit or to make help for... But also let me uh, say that, look, Nigeria is, is unfortunate. We don't keep accurate, we are very flexible with statistics and demographics. All we do is just vary. You know, if, if you have now, like he's talking about now, some, some, some four local governments, 36 states, so, 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 and so. At the end of the day, those who are claiming to use specific information, they will just use, you, you will discover that it's a variation that conforms entirely with that. In other words, where you have 5774, you have, is that you, the, the proportion of increase is exactly the same, or it is higher than those that had before. So it is a syndrome, like, like I said. Nobody, so there are something that they call demogra demogra uh, demographic proxies, things that you can use to, to compare to what the, the, the proportional increase that is being claimed in what you are doing. In, in all the cases, in all the exercises of Nigeria, if they don't conform, where you have in uh, uh, this FCT, for instance, you use immunization or uh, uh, secondary school enrollment, right? Maybe it has risen, uh, the population you are claiming has risen by about 50%. Those, those demographic uh, proxies may not have risen beyond 10%. You know, and Mr. Rotim, I just want to ask you, if you're looking at the, uh, if you're going to introduce new polling units, ultimately, if after this process that you're undertaking, you choose to do that, the question now becomes, uh, at what point will you need to arrive at that conclusion in order to make sure that those polling units are introduced in a manner that will not undermine the credibility of the next election? Well, um, 
you know, this commission has been quite open from November 2015 that it was inaugurated. We have various stakeholders. We have quarterly meetings. We have political parties, media, security agents, and, and all of that. There is no decision we take that is not guided by the extant laws. You know, the law gives us the power to create polling units, and there are certain criteria for doing that. But it is not a flimsy thing. You know, it still boils down to this lack of trust, you know. This gentleman is asking, why now? I, I just mentioned that we had request totaling 3,789. So when you harvest request and it keeps coming, you begin to pay some attention. Why are these requests coming? Or are we going to ignore this request? But how long have they been, how long have they been coming in and why hasn't action been taken much earlier than now? You know, you don't know how busy we get at INIC. You wouldn't believe it that since November 2015, we have conducted elections into 178 constituencies. That's a lot of work. We are, con con we are conducting elections every week, and we are now doing CVR. The total number of staff in NINEC is about 16,000 all over the country. So we are constantly busy, and we are struggling to keep up with all the demands that are coming in okay. as much as possible. So what I'm saying is that, you know, like I said, you, you harvest requests. And when, when you have a certain number, then you decide, let's look into this. I've just said something. We have not decided yet. And there's nothing we do that will not be guided by our laws. And there's nothing we do that will not involve the political parties. They're all the stakeholders. But